Hello guys, this is Dr. Joseph. Today we are going to execute few instructions. Uh, so here on the screen you see there are a couple of uh, tasks to be done. So we have almost uh, 14 tasks and we are going to do it in quick se sequence of all these things. So first one is prepare an Excel sheet and enter minimum 10 number of roll numbers to the means. Empty midterm exam marks, empty two midterm exam two marks and the ET end term exam marks and we need to do formatting option so we start here so we start with um, uh, we start with the roll number main, and then we have MT1 MT2 and then we have ET so for the convenience sake, I'm keeping the roll numbers as 1, 2, so that I come to know that we have 10 uh, roll numbers. Uh, so I'm going to enter the, the names of the students. student names are entered and then enter the marks for them so I'm going to use the autofill option marks 2 is entered <coughs> and marks for end term exam so that is also I'm using autofill option so I'm going to format this I'm going to select the entire table I'm going to align to the center uh, I'm going to add borders I'm going to bold the header I'm going to give a color to it fill color yeah so our data table is over the second task is design an error message when the user enters an invalid data the third one is apply validation rules on MT1, MT2 and ET cells to allow marks between 0 to 100. So we need to use data validation. Data validation is for marks. Marks should be between 0 and 100. It should not accept alphabets. It should not accept um, any other uh, symbols and other uh, characters. So we are assuming it to be a whole number. So the assumption it should not um, consider. So we, I have to select the marks only the marks where I want the data validation rule to be applied so here we have MT1, MT2 and uh, ET so the marks have been selected then I go to data then uh, <coughs> data validation and uh, here the first tab settings allow any value I change it to allow whole number between 0 and maximum value I am giving it as 100 and then I need to design an error message. So error message. It's here show error alert after invalid data is entered. Title I'm going to title it as error. And um, I'm going to give the error messages. Please enter between 0 and 100. So our error message is done. So I'm going to check this. I'm going to enter an alphabet here and the system says please enter uh, between 0 and 100 it means my data validation and the error message is working so let me uh, save this file uh, so that I don't lose it um, so I am saving it ok let me go to the fourth one calculate total and average for each student by using arithmetic function so for each student I need to calculate total and average so I'm adding a new column total and um, <coughs> average <coughs> so total I'm using the auto sum option under the home menu yeah so I get the auto sum I just copy it and then average is this total divided by 3 so total I got I'm adding the borders I'm aligning it to the center 
and then for average I am going to reduce the decimals um, to two places so that is done control S next task is calculate the average mark for each exam so now we have to calculate the average over here so we need a new cell here average <coughs> I need the average for each and every exam. So again, I use the auto sum, but now I'm going to use the auto average option. All my data is selected. I press enter, and then I'm going to copy this. Okay, so let me add a border and let me align it to the center. The average, I'm going to bold it and I'm going to give a color. Okay, next is draw a chart for the average marks in the exam so i need to draw a draw chart insert a chart only for the average marks over here so i'm going to um, move this data of average separately so that i can create a new table for it so the average for each exam is just now we calculated so i'm making a small table for it for the sake of convenience and then for this data, I am going to insert a chart. And then insert a, a column chart, clustered column chart. Here we go. So the chart is done. I am placing the chart here. Let me place it there. Okay. The chart title is Average Marks across exams then I am going to remove this uh, grid lines and add a data label so chart is done the next task is <coughs> use if statement to check whether the average mark scored by each and every student is above 50 if above 50 pass is the output and if it is less than 50 it should be given as free. So I need to create a new column as uh, results. And then here we need to insert the if statement and to check whether the um, we need to check whether the average mark is above 50. So we need to uh, insert the if statement if open bracket. The test is if the average is less than zero, less than 15, then Excel should display it as fail if it is less than 15 else Excel should display it as pass so that is the if statement let me copy it so you can see here all these marks are less than 50 so it's appearing as fail and other marks are pass <coughs> let me give the border align to the center so the seventh task is over let me go to the eighth one display the number of students who got more than 16 each subject so we need to, uh, for each and every uh, exam, each and every exam we need to count how many students who got um, more than uh, 16. So once again I am creating a new table here, I have to use the function count f. And so here I need to count how many of them all got uh, uh, greater than 16. And uh, the next one, once again, count if the range comma greater than 16, and then for the last one, count if uh, this range ET comma space within quotes greater than. 60. So that is done. Let me give the borders to it and then make it center aligned. Yeah, so the next task is done. Let me save the file. The ninth one is display the top score and lowest score in each exam in separate cells. So in each exam, I need to display the top and um, lowest score. So let me create uh, this one. This is uh, greater than 60. So here top score and then here bottom score so display the top score and lower score in each exam separate cells 
so now we make this wd widget so here you need to find so for top score it is uh, max you need to use max of this particular <coughs> mt and then i'm just going to drag it yeah. so i got the maximum marks and next one is min and for mt min the lowest and then i need to just this here so next task is done and uh, display the second top score in each exam in separate cell now i need to display second topper in each exam so let me further expand the table with the border and um, for that we need to use large function open bracket large the range is this one and i need to find uh, the second largest and uh, that is the second largest let me copy it yes we the second largest so uh, tenth task is done. Include an option if user provides a roll number in the name of the student and the marks scored by the respective student in the three exams are to be displayed. So here we need to use the if statement. So here I am creating another table for roll number, name, and then let me put the VMT in one and then <coughs> VMT in two and then ETE so I'm going to give the borders over here and um, so here the user will enter the row number say for example 1 so here I need to input the VLOOKUP so I go for the VLOOKUP VLOOKUP lookup value of this cell comma table array is from row number up to the marks is enough comma column index number student name is in second column of the table comma and then false so now before I do I convert this into absolute referencing so I include the dollar symbol before and after the cell uh, alphabet in the cell address connected it press enter so now I'm getting it Sam I'm just copying it <coughs> and what I need to change is I need to just change the column index number to get the respective um, marks ET is in the fifth column so I need to yes so for Sam it is 40 22 35 that is correct for Joe's it is 85, 76, 80 so that is also correct so let me just bold this let me align it to the center let me just fill it up with the card so our next task is completed we look up 12th one is create a pivot table and pivot chart to see the pass and fail category so we need to use pivot table to just count the pass and fail so I just select only the results cell here I am not, in, not including the header, I am just selecting the uh, fails and pass here. I am going to insert pivot table. You can see here the, the uh, table is selected. And um, here I don't want the header. Let it be only from the next variable. Okay. I am going to insert in the existing worksheet. Location, I am going to locate it down the chart over here <coughs> so the pivot table is inserted now i need to put it in rows and i need to move it to the columns so there i get a count of uh, number of pass and fail so for this i am to insert a chart i am going to insert the pivot chart <coughs> i am going to use the pi 3d pi so I get the 3D pi. I'm going to 
uh, hide all these field buttons right click on the field buttons and click on hide all field buttons on chart uh, the title result summary and add the data labels so the pivot table task is done but then we highlight the failure marks in each category using condition format so the pass mark is uh, 50 uh, so <clears throat> we need to highlight uh, all the uh, people who got less than 50 uh, using condition formatting so I will highlight in red so here uh, I am selecting the all the marks and uh, in each exam we need to do that so I am selecting all the marks I am going to condition formatting so I need to highlight cells which are uh, less than um, 50 yeah, so there we go so that is done and the last one is record a macro to calculate simple interest and assign it to a button so we need to record a macro <coughs> and um, uh, assign it to a uh, assign it to a, a button okay so let me create a new sheet for that so i'm going to have the M R those are the inputs and then here in the simple interest and let me add the border and central line that so when i give principal number of years and the rate of return i need the simple interest here so i'm clicking this cell <coughs> i'm going to view macros uh, record macros so let it be s i and to assign it to the button so now shortcut let it be this workbook press ok and the record mode so the formula is equal to p asterisk n asterisk r divided by 100 so that is the simple interest formula so i'm going to macro stop recording so my macro is done i'm going to delete this and uh, Mm, let me check whether it is working so I'm just giving a input and then I'm going to run the macro yeah so it is calculating perfect so I'm going to uh, I need to insert a button for this so I'm going for the developer tab and uh, insert the button here and uh, only one macro is there I'm just assigning to it and then I'm just renaming it as simple interest so let me check yes it's working so with this uh, all the tasks are completed thank you so much for uh, watching please um, join me for the next video please like please share Please comment. Thank you so much.